We picked up the Jackery Explorer 300. It's a 300 watt power pack, power box. I really want to show what this thing is capable of and shoot some videos on what I wish I would have seen on YouTube, what it can power, what it can't power, and hopefully it gives you guys a better idea if this is something you're looking into. All right, so it's gonna come with a charging storage case, one 110 volt charger and one 12 volt charger. And both of these chargers will go into the same input on the very far left. Also comes with a user manual. Getting started with the Jackery, here is the input for both power, plugging it in. And you're getting about 34, 35 watts of power. So DC, you click DC. AC, you click AC. And starting off, we're going to try and power the fan. And it's going to run about 30 watts, 29 watts. And we're going to try out the TV by itself. The TV is going to be about 24 to 29, 25 watts. And we're going to try a good old fashioned DVD VCR player plugging it in. We don't have Wi-Fi, so sometimes we got to do the throwback with a VHS or a DVD. Good old composite. We'll see how much that's going to power. So 29, about 30 watts. It's time for a movie. Little popcorn, M&Ms, plop down. But we don't have time for a movie. We got a review to finish. So let's get this TV and DVD out of here and bring in the next thing, a vinyl player. Pop it open, plug it in. And that's gonna pull about three watts of power, which is next to nothing. All right, next we're gonna try the laptop. This is an older model, but if you're working on the road, you're gonna need something along the lines of this. So powering up, we're about 34 watts to 40 watts. So it's in about the mid 30 range, not too bad. I'm gonna plug my phone in. Uh, I can't record my phone being plugged in because my phone is what's recording right now. So we're gonna plug her in and see how much power this is gonna take. Plugged in. Just under 10 watts. So as I'm taking this video of this Jackery, I'm powering my phone. We started off at 100%, and after all that goofing off, we've gone down only 5%. So this thing packs a pretty good punch. For, it's not going to hit all the major appliances. It'll. You're not going to be able to vacuum your floor. You're not going to be able to use use a a Keurig to make your coffee, but to power your phone, to power some lights, to watch TV if you wanted to, if the power went out, or if you're in, if you're camping and you really wanted to be glamorous, you can throw the TV on there. This thing is going to work out perfectly. So this thing is hooked up to the amplifier. It's powering the microphone and it's hooked up to the guitar. So let's have a little fun and see how this thing goes. We'll play for five or six minutes and we'll see how low the battery gets. <laughs> budged at all. It's right there at 93% still, so. I won't torture you with any more subpar piano playing, but hey, it can power the keyboard too. That's pretty cool. All right, we're in the bathroom now. Kind of weird, but I wanted to see if it would power my electric razor because I am very overdue for a haircut. I'm actually not going to cut my hair, so don't get too excited. Moment of truth. Oh. Forgot to push the button. Oh, yeah. That's taking about seven watts right now, eight watts. Let's see how this lamp goes. It's taking about four watts. Not bad. You can't really tell because it's broad daylight, but this is giving off quite a bit of light.
Well, if you made it to this point, thanks for watching. I hope I cleared up some questions and kind of gave you a better idea of what this thing is really capable of, what the output is. If what you're wanting to do is to have a power station to power small appliances, like maybe, maybe a mini fridge or like a small personal heater or like a small air conditioner, this isn't gonna cut it, it's just too small. But if what you're looking to do is run some LED lights, maybe charge your cell phone, charge a laptop, play the radio, I even hooked up the amplifier, this thing is gonna be perfect for you. We picked this up, my wife and I, because we're actually going to build out an Econoline into a small camper, camper van, and we wanted a small power station so when the van's not running, we have some source of power for lights and to charge our phone. We're not looking for anything too crazy. So this is the perfect option for us. It's really a good thing to take with you if you're camping, but it's also very ideal just to keep at home with you in case of emergencies. It's not gonna keep your freezer and your meat frozen, but well, it, what it will do is you can charge your phone, you can put some lights on, and the battery is very powerful. We ran this thing down to about 15%. We put it on the charger and just under two hours later, it was back up to 100%. So it's very efficient. It's very affordable. So hope this helps. And if you are interested in the Econoline build, I hope you tag along. Have a good day. As far as price goes, it retails about 250, but I believe Amazon has it on sale for about 169.